Lachlan has around 3,500 citizens, but it could have as many as double that amount living in the village. The latest estimates say there are as many as 3,000 asylum-seeking immigrants, mostly from Mauritania, that's a country on the west coast of Africa, living in this small Cincinnati suburb. Here's a look at one of the apartment buildings that Lachlan Fire Chief and Village Administrator Doug Weheimer says that the Mauritanians are living in. Weimeyer says that they're creating a safety hazard by having as many as 10 people living in an apartment designed for just four people. He says that's creating a dangerous situation for the residents and firefighters. In most cases, all they have is a mattress and a couch and some clothes. So while we're trying to advance a hose line down the hallway, they're pulling mattresses and clothes out, believing you know that's over. And where we look at that and say, man, there's 10 people in a unit, they look at that and that's better than the condition that they came from. Now, Weimeyer says the issues aren't just about overcrowded apartment buildings and safety. He says the migrants are also putting a strain on the area's social resources. He tells me the immigrants do not have jobs and rely on places like Valley Interfaith Community Resource Center. Now, the chief says that they haven't noticed an increase in serious crime as the number of immigrants continues to rise, but he does tell me that they are seeing more smaller, petty crimes, things like littering and trash, jaywalking, people riding their bicycles where they shouldn't be. Weimeyer says that the public works crews are spending more time in these areas surrounding the immigrants to clean up trash. He says the village and community resources simply can't keep supporting the immigrants. He says they need help. The concern that we have now is where there's not a lot of uh, crime associated with them being here. At what point is there? At what point, you know, how often do you go hungry before you steal for food? How long do you go hungry before you steal for money for food? Now, in the short term, the village just needs money and resources to deal with this problem. Chief Weimeyer says that he's reached out to Congressman Warren Davidson's office, who represents the Lachlan area, as well as Governor Mike DeWine's office, but says no one will call him back to help. Now, in the long run, he says something must be done to slow the number of migrants coming into the area. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.